Well, you guys, somebody hacked my computer. Well, according to this email, that's what they're claiming. Delivery status notification failure. And there is the email address right there. Again, greetings. I am sorry, but I have to start with the bad news. A few months ago, I gained access to your account linked to your operating system and therefore to all of the devices you use on the Internet browsing. And uh, there you go. It says right here that they've gained access through my email address, which is my email address. And again, it says I'm no genius or a brilliant hacker. And you are just completely careless about your digital hygiene and Internet safety. Coming on down, as you can see here. You seem to be completely unaware of the incognito tabs, VPN tour and clicking on suspicious email links. And here is the point that the email I have access not only to your browser history, but the files on your webcam. And not only did I record your pleasuring yourself watching a video of highly controversial content, I also got all of your digital conversations. And this is where the sting starts. They're trying to frighten you. And this is the bit where they try and add fear to try and make you feel vulnerable. And you can see here, right here, it says, at least you think it's some fake editing. Some of the footage of you is duplicated from several of your devices. Everything you value, your friends, your co-workers and family opinions of you is jeopardized. So you can see here, right here, it says you spent a long time building your reputation as a decent and responsible person. Neither of you nor, nor I want to destroy it in one click. So now he's trying to say he's going to expose me if I don't pay him something. I'm pretty sure of it. And it says here, the click which will send everyone you know and respect a questionable video with you and the most remarkable records of your browsing history. So that's basically what they're trying to frighten you with right here is your browsing history and your habits that you have online. And they're probably trying to play on the role that I'm a man and probably go online and do certain things, but they're mistaken. So I'm not going to fall for anything like this, but there's a lot of people that would generally fall into this category of fear and then start maybe wanting to give them money to hush them up. And this is where they try and put the icing on the cake. It says, I hope you've begun to realize that I can turn your formal life into a shame and embarrassment in one moment. However, I'm a rational person and I don't want to make anyone suffer for the sake of suffering. So I can make a deal. And this is where they try to get you to pay. You need to transfer $1,250 US dollars, Bitcoin equivalent to uh, this crypto one, uh, wallet here. And of course, this is what it's all about. They used to do this with ransomware. And now they're trying to do it with some sort of email to try and add fear. And I haven't seen one of these for quite a long time. But it seems to be that they are still circulating on the internet and once it gets sent to you some people may uh, fear the fact that they might have their browsing history or been watching them uh, through their webcam and of course you get the reassurance now coming in it says it's only a very small amount uh, for not losing the reputation that you've been developing for years maybe even decades once i receive the payment i will delete all the materials once and for all and it says here, since I monitor all your PC and mobile activity, I noticed when you sent a payment as well as uh, when you read this email. So you can see here you have 48 hours to make a payment uh, from the moment of opening this email. So it's the fear factor to try and get you to pay straight away before you have time to even mull it over and think about what's actually happening. Now, most people are just going to discard this. But there will be people that are doing stuff maybe on the Internet that they will be fearful in case someone finds out. So they may pay. This is how these scammers work. We'll basically try to frighten you into paying something. And down the bottom here, it says, I'm a man of my word. You can trust me. Otherwise, I would have published it a long time ago. Some advice in advance. Don't reply to this letter. And 
this email was sent from a randomly generated address. Don't call the police and so on and so on. As you can see there, trying to say to you, if you do this, then they would expose you even more. And it goes on to close the email out with a, a bunch of uh, sarcastic uh, conversation there. And these emails are pretty common, just like the ones where inheritance, they've got a massive big inheritance and they can't access it until they pay a thousand dollars. And if you pay a thousand dollars, they will pay you back ten thousand dollars, all this sort of stuff. So they are fake. And uh, what they're trying to do is play on your feelings with this particular email. And again, this will just be sent out randomly and hoping they will catch a fish. And once they catch a fish, someone's going to pay for it, hopefully uh, with fear uh, of them being exposed. But you shouldn't have anything to worry about. In that case, just ignore it and delete the email. And as you can see here, it's not even addressed to me. It just says greetings. Doesn't even use my name, just uses my email address. And the email address is just some random email. And I get these all day, every day. I get scams sent to me all the time. Maybe it's because I've got some sort of internet exposure where people will find my email address and send stuff like this. And I find it amusing. But at the end of the day, don't ever pay uh, for something like this because it is a scam. Okay, guys. Anyway, just a quick video for today. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this one up. Just a quick one for today. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.